As we reported last week, at least 13 members of a Kansas State University fraternity tested positive for COVID-19. Now the city's mayor worries those numbers will keep going up after witnessing what she deems unacceptable behavior off campus. Anchor Caitlin Canute has more from the newsroom. Caitlin, what's going on? Well, Dia, the mayor of Manhattan told me she's not only worried about rising case numbers on campus, she's worried that going to, that's going to spread like wildfire through the community. And she says that could force all K through 12 schools to go remote and possibly even close areas businesses again. Last week, Kansas State University reported 63 cases of COVID-19 on campus with a positivity rate of 9.29%. Students have been instructed to wear face masks, social distance, and do their part to keep others safe. But it seems not all students are following those guidelines. These are pictures the mayor of Manhattan took a couple weeks ago showing packed bars and patios, students shoulder to shoulder, most of them not wearing masks. On the front, you could see that most people were doing the right thing, but in the back where a lot of bars have patios and such, it was very packed, uh, packed to the brim. After alerting other city and county officials, one of those bars, O'Malley's Alley, was ordered to close on Saturday. The health department cited the bar for not following guidelines that limit restaurants and bars to seated areas only, meaning no standing room only areas, and for not following the city's mask mandate. However, the closure was brief. O'Malley's Alley posted on Twitter it was back open as of Monday. Mayor Reddy says she just hopes this warning prompts bars and students to take necessary safety precautions, not just for themselves, but for the surrounding K through 12 schools. So if it goes beyond 10% for a couple of weeks, they're going to go to remote instruction. And that's a huge disservice to our young kids. Um, if you're in higher education and college, you can probably handle an online class, but a second grader, third grader, they can't. Right now, it's a real concern for Riley County with 674 active cases of coronavirus. The county's positivity rate this week is 11.7%, and the average age of patients is around 30. Along with college and school-aged kids, Mayor Reddy is also concerned about the older members of the community. We have lots of teachers that um, are much older, uh, there isn't a big substitute pool anymore for K-12 and our faculty even at Kansas State University are also older so we need to take care of all of them otherwise things are going to shut down really fast. The mayor says it's not just bars and restaurants. She says a big part of the problem is house parties and backyard get-togethers. And she warns even smaller get-togethers can be problematic. For example, she shared four K-State football players contracted coronavirus simply sitting around playing video games together.